What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes. Have you come to guys with a video right now? So I want to go over another trade destination for Zach Ertz that could happen. You never know at this point. People are saying, Joe, why are you doing this? Why are you saying this? And why, you know, it's already almost, you know, the season's right around the corner. Why do you think Zach Ertz could still get traded? I don't know. I think his value has definitely increased a little bit since I thought he had a really good camp, good offseason, and some preseason games that he looked pretty good. Does Zach Ertz make this tight end group better? Yes, it does. Dallas Goddard. You know, the Eagles are working on an extension. Richard Rodgers right behind. You know, Tyree Jackson's on IR right now, which, you know, keep him on the shelf. I want him to stay with us because I want to see what he could do uh, later this year or, you know, obviously compete next year. And Richard Rodgers is a reliable backup. Okay, but is Zach Ertz supposed to be the number one tight end? I have no idea. Dallas Goddard's on a contract extension, and hopefully they work that out. And I would rather see Dallas Goddard be the number one tight end here. But I don't know what they're doing. They've held on to Zach Ertz for so long after thinking that they were going to trade him this offseason. Didn't get the compensation they wanted, and it never happened. So he's been at camp. He's, he's you know, um, obviously camp's over. We're starting the season is in a couple weeks. So there's a lot of different things, you know, that could happen. Um, you know, because you free up eight and a half billion dollars, the Eagles could have over twenty million dollars in cap space, and there could be a lot of room right there, and, and you put your future in more good perspective. I didn't want to get rid of Zach Ertz because I don't think he's a bad player. I want to get rid of Zach Ertz because I just don't think the money really ties in, and I just think that it's more of a futuristic move to get rid of Zach Ertz. I want to see Dallas Goddard as the number one. I really want to see him flourish as a number one, which Dallas Goddard, since he's been drafted, hasn't been a number one. He's always been behind Zach Ertz. So for him to get that chance, it would make me very happy. But if he doesn't and Zach Ertz stays, I have no problem with it. I'm just thinking in the long run, I'm just giving my opinion on if you get if you trade or release Zach Ertz, what you're getting out of it. Obviously, I'd rather trade him to get some draft compensation if it's even possible. Maybe try to even, you know, do something with him. But I don't know if it's going to happen. But just saying that Irv Smith, the tight end from the Vikings, he ended up, uh, you know, had meniscus repair surgery. Um, only played 11 snaps in that Kansas City Chiefs game. Um, and they lost their starting tight end. Obviously, obviously Rudolph, you know, their starting tight end from last year went to the Giants. Um, you know, they they went with Irv Smith that has played pretty good, um, played pretty solid. And, um, you know, they're now uh, he's going to be out for a few months and uh, they need a starting tight end. There was a lot of trade destinations for the Zach Ertz. I've been over almost a lot of teams like the Buffalo Bills, the Patriots, um, you know, the Jaguars. There's a lot of destinations. There's a lot of teams that need starting caliber tight ends right now. Um, if Zach Ertz went to the Vikings, I mean, it's a loaded offense. I mean, he'd be perfect in that offense. He wouldn't have to be the guy. Um, not even really necessarily a safety blanket. He would just be an extra perk for that offense uh, for Minnesota. So with that, you know, if the Minnesota Vikings call the Eagles for a possible trade could happen. You never know. Um, but you could save cap space. You can get a draft pick out of it. And, you know, you make Dallas Goddard your number one. That's what I really want this year. I have a feeling if he does stay, he's going to be that number one guy, which I don't mind. But Dallas Goddard, you know, this is a guy who could be our future tight end that I think an extension will happen before the season ends this year. And, you know, he deserves to at least start. Let Zach Ertz be the backup to him and just see what happens. Uh, but that's not my call, obviously. But when you see injuries happen around the league, this is the, these are the things that happen um, when teams get a little needy for positions to fill. And if there's a player from another team that you know they're interested in, they could call the Eagles and say, hey, what do you want for Zach Ertz? And obviously at this point, I don't know what you'd give up. I mean, it was a point where they tried to get a third, fourth round pick for Zach Ertz earlier this year after last season ended. And it didn't work that well. And obviously, we couldn't trade Zach Ertz last year by the trade deadline because he was on IR at that time. And this team was a total disaster. OK, so um, don't know what's going to happen, but obviously another trade destination for Zach Ertz. If that's the case, that the Eagles can make a call or, you know, the Vikings end up making a call and, and see what they can work out. So definitely look, look at this, look at, you know, look down the road for this. I know there's, you know. You, you would think it's impossible but there's two weeks left of the season that this can't happen, but guys, it could happen. I mean, this team, I remember traded Sam Bradford for a first round pick because Teddy Bridgewater was hurt for the Minnesota Vikings. I think something that we didn't really expect, obviously different position for the draft pick, but um, sort of in a sense to where, you know, 
teams could call. There's already rumors about, you know, the Eagles trying to trade some offensive linemen, you know, backup offensive linemen, some depth linebackers now. You know, a lot of guys are getting released off teams. You know, teams are going to be signing other guys and to get some more depth pieces or starters or really pieces they need very badly. So um, I think the Vikings definitely would make this phone call, maybe, because I don't think they have anybody uh, behind Irv Smith at all. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this um, and think that if there is a possible trade in the works that could happen before the season starts. You guys let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Chicks, what up? Follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.